Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Atlas. The new Maelstrom map has been released and we have started out, we did our first video on how to tame a bear. I hope that helped you guys. I hope everyone's getting some benefit from it because I've seen a lot of chatter that people have having problems taming bears or even if you're brand new to the game and you didn't understand how taming works. If you're an art player coming over and you've never played it like I did the first time, I thought the taming was going to be similar but it's completely different. But today we're going to go after an elephant. Basically the first three animals you get is a bear, an elephant, and a giraffe. Bear gets fiber, elephant gets wood, giraffe gets thatch. Those are your three main building things, uh, building resources that you need. So we all know how hard it is to tame elephants and giraffes. If you're a veteran player, you know they can be buggy, quirky. Taming works better with more than one person. I'll say that right up front. One person can damage it, bolo it. The second person can go in and feed, and usually the animal will aggro on the first person while the second person can go in and feed without getting hit as long as the first person is out of the aggro range. We're going to do it solo today and see how it works. Um, I don't have high hopes that this is going to go well, but we're in H6. I've seen some elephants on one of the islands down in H5. We're going to travel down there, see if we can find a fairly low level elephant just to do the tame for the video. Of course, with any of the tames, the lower the level, the easier it is to get it tamed, the quicker it is to get it tamed, I should say, not easier, but the quicker that the animal will tame. The higher the level, the longer it takes to tame. But I think the actual process is not any more difficult or any more easy, depending on the level. And of course, as always, go in, work on your beast mastery skills, get everything leveled up that you can for taming. That will help tremendously. So let's jump out on the high seas, get down in H5, and see if we can find us an elephant to tame. Okay, we've made the short trip down to H5. We're based up here in H4. We went down to H5. That is the closest spot for elephants that I know of. There may be some in G4, but it's one grid over. I've not seen any in H4, which I've not really been on this island or this island. I've just been to this island, whatever the names are. But uh, before we get started, I want to go over a couple things. So first of all, elephant taming is seriously bugged. It is, it's bugged. And I'll show you why here in just a minute. But today, I'm going to tame an elephant off the back of a bear, where I use the bear to take the elephant's health down. I bowl of it, get off, do the feed, jump back on the bear, and do that same process until the elephant is tamed. However, if you want to use a pin, because doing that from the back of an elephant, it, it has risk. Out in the open like this, animals can walk by. That giraffe could walk over, get in my way. If another elephant walks into the radius, when you attack that elephant to bring its health back down to bolo it again, another elephant too close will start attacking you. Then you're going to have to try to kill that elephant without killing the one you're trying to tame. And that's that's really bad when you're on your last bola and all you got is two or three more feeds and you, you you getting ready to throw that last bola and the elephant walks up and starts attacking and you have to kill both of them usually is what happens so using a trap and and i would suggest instead of putting these ramps here put one ceiling out then put your ramps so you don't run into this issue of not being able to get out a little further uh, but the way I built this trap is I put some door frames here and I'll put the walls three high. So three high there, three high over here. I've got a three wide gap here, a two wide gap here. I should have done the same thing, but I just kind of threw that together. But the elephant cannot get out at three walls high, but your bear can get in to attack it. The reason I don't like doing the trap is I often get it in position where the elephant falls and its head will go into this gate or its head will go into these supports because you have to have at least one support on each side. So I've got a support here, I've got a support here, and I've got a support here. You have to have it on each side to keep those walls up in the air like that. So there's good things and bad things about doing it both ways. When you're out in the wild too, lower level elephants, uh, when you get toward the end of the tame, when they get up they won't immediately start attacking you again they'll want to run away and you have to chase them down the longer you have to chase them and bring their health down the 
taming progression bar will start dropping so you lose some of your taming percentage and it just you know and it's better to do this with two people it's better to do it with two people have one person on the bear damaging the elephant throwing the bola and as soon as it's bola the second person come in and do the feeds so i think that's about everything but i'm about to show you why elephant taming is bugged so let's get started and i'll show you what i'm talking about as far as elephants being bugged Okay, we've got the health down pretty low. You have to be careful and not kill it. And the elephant is bolded. So, the reason I say elephant taming is bugged is because you can walk up to an elephant from this side. He will not aggro on you. You get the feed option, but hear that? That's me spamming the Y button trying to get this elephant to feed, and it will not feed. And there's I've, I've walked around this elephant trying to get the thing to feed, but when you get around here, he starts aggroing on you. There you go. So, from behind here, now he's aggroing on that bull, I think, but from behind here, you get the feed option, and it just, it will not let you do it. Now, here is the, the big trick. Here's the big thing that everybody that I think is having issues are missing. Our bolo is about to break, so we're going to let it get up and re -bolo it. There we go. All right. Now that we've got it bolted down, I'm going to show you guys the angle that I feed an elephant from. So I come in at this angle, but what I do is I ease in. I don't just go in. I ease in until I just get the feed prompt. And I want to come in right about at that joint, that knee joint, right at his ear here. And just ease in, ease in until you get that feed prompt and feed it. And I think what most people are doing is they're going in too far. Because if you go in any further, it will aggro on you and it will hit you. And now, let me caveat that with saying that there are still times, because these things are so buggy and glitchy, there are still times, even doing it this way, that the elephant's going to aggro on you. So the best thing I suggest is bringing some armor, putting that armor on, and that way you don't die quite as often. But you can see there we've gotten three feeds in, and the elephant hasn't aggroed on us yet. We're going to do one more, maybe two more. I think we can get two more in. All right, so I'm real close on this. Uh, three second difference, I don't want to do it. So I back straight out so the elephant doesn't aggro on me. I run around to the back, and I usually try to put my bear on that side. So he's going to get up. And he should start attacking us again. Alright, so you want to bring its health back down as quickly as possible. And a higher level bear with higher melee definitely comes in handy here because you can get him bullet again. If you take too long, you'll start losing that taming efficiency. And I, I usually try to bring the bear around to this side. This is where, see, a second person could already be feeding the elephant. So I want to ease in, ease in, ease in just till I get that feed prompt. Move over to the left just a little bit. Get that sweet spot right there. And the way you can tell you're in the right spot is it will go back from the remove bowl prompt to the feed prompt. It's not a perfect system. This is, this is horrible, the way you have to do this because I've already lost some of my taming percentage um, trying to get into the right spot. So we're down to 98.6% effectiveness. We're down to 13.1, and we'll, we'll watch that as we go through. Uh, but I want to do this whole tame so you can see all the way through if I get attacked or not. Uh, like I say, I, I've, I've moved around trying to uh, 
get an area where the feed prompt's there the whole time, but if you move in any closer where you've got the feed prompt the whole time, the elephant seems to aggro on you. So you have to kind of just let it go back and forth, and it seems to be the sweet spot to me. Um, I will say you will lose one to two feeds per bolas, and that's, I mean, that's horrible. Everybody's going to say, well, that's not efficient, but the problem everybody's having is the elephant wants to aggro on you. And this is the only way I've found to get him to not aggro on you. By putting the bear over here, see, I'm already on the bear, and I can get into that very last few seconds. All right. He's going to push us into the trap if we're careful. And we're on an official server, and it's very laggy for some reason. Very laggy. Get around here, bear. See, at this point, the second person could already be getting ready to do the feed. And I feel like this time I've got to get over to the left a little bit. See, I've already lost one feed by taking that much time to get in position. But again, this is the only way that I have found so the elephant will not aggro on you and hit you. Every time it hits you, you're going to lose some of your attainment percentage, some of your attainment effectiveness. It, a couple of hits without armor, you're dead. You have to respawn in a bed. It's This is just a bad way to do this. They really need to fix this. Instead of giving us farms to gather resources, fix elephant taming. Fix the ships that are glitched into the bottom of the ocean that have high-level treasure chests in them that you can't get to. Um, I think I'd rather see those kind of fixes implemented than just keep adding you know, the, the bells and whistles, as I'd like to call it. And see, we've already got a bull wandering into the area that's going to interfere with the tame. Go away, you dumb bull. Can we get two more in? Nope, we can only get one more in. And again, I want to back out from the elephant like this so he doesn't aggro on me. Get on the bear. Get ready for the bull to break. All right, that bull kind of wandered off. This is, to me, this is the key. You gotta just barely ease in here. Just, I'm just bumping my controller. I play on Xbox. Just barely bumping my controller, and I know I'm losing time right here. I'm losing a feed. I'm wasting time. But again, it's the only way that I found to do this without getting the elephant to aggro on you. our first hit and I think it was because I wasn't over to the left far enough here uh, there's a there's an angle like this where I can come in there's an angle like this where I can come in I think I need to be a little further to the left and I may have went in just a little bit too far let's see if I can ease back in to that sweet spot there we go and again it's right here at the joint uh, it'd be nice if I had a crosshair to look at I think I'm a little too far to the right. I think I'm going to get aggroed on this time when I feed it. Nope. Sometimes when I'm unsure, I'll back up right after a feed and just ease back in again until I get that. And for some reason, it's not bouncing back to the bola prompt this time, and that's why I thought I was going to get aggroed on. And it 
big part of this is watching your bola escape timer up top like right now we're about a three second difference i'm not going to try to get that last feed in on that three seconds because i got to have time to do the feed get back to the bear get on the bear get around and get ready to start damaging it again and it, it usually doesn't work out well for me i usually either get hit by the elephant don't get on the bear in time or that's the point the elephant chooses to run away and i have to waste those few seconds chasing it down and again you know it's not a perfect system and it's going to cost you some effectiveness and maybe a level here or there um right about here ease right there there we go uh, it may cost you a level here and there on the elephant um, but for now, like I say, until they get the bugs fixed, the bugs worked out, this is the only way I see to do it. And like you saw previously, I, I either got in too far, or I was too far over to the right here of this sweet spot on this joint, and it did aggro on me. So it's going to aggro every once in a while. Nothing we can do about that. But I, I think we can all agree this is working pretty good. And, and I, I wanted to go through this whole thing so you could see the whole process instead of going down to a time lapse. Um, live and in person, you can see I didn't do any kind of tricks or anything like that. It's, it's just plain and simple is what it is. And like I say, I wanted to do this because I'm seeing a lot of people saying they're having problems. And there's not a lot of helpful suggestions out there. People just go, yep, it's bug, yep, it's broke, yep, it's this. I'd rather try to help people if I know something. And it, and it could be that nobody else there really has tested this, but I think I've tamed about four elephants now, trying different methods, different areas to feed from. Uh, I've used the trap on some. I've done it from the back of the barrel on some. Uh, I, you know, uh, this seems to be it. I don't, I don't know how else to explain it other than this seems to be the only safe way and it's not really a hundred percent safe uh, to tame an elephant and I, I think so far we've been able to get it damaged down that bola didn't even throw from the lag there we go and let's see if we can find that sweet spot again so it's, it's right at this right at that knee joint and you want to look right at its ear maybe a little maybe look a little right but there we go I found it and it was switching back and forth to the bola prompt but I'm not sure why it's not doing that anymore so I'm gonna back up and make sure I'm not too close And, and again, that's my gauge. If I see the bola prompt come up, then it goes to the feed prompt like that, goes back to the bola prompt. I know I'm kind of in that safe zone, and I've got much less chance of getting aggroed and hit. All right, we're up at about 80% taming done, and I kind of got a feeling when it gets up this time, it's going to want to run away. Nope, it's going to attack me again. Maybe it won't try to run away. Maybe we'll get a full tame without it trying to run and we have to go chase it down. Oh no, we're stuck on a rock. See, this is the other issue with... Oh, come on, you goofy bear. This is the other issue with taming out in the wild. We may be in a position here where we can't, nope, we got lucky. If it had fell in that rock or in that tree or something, we'd have been less likely to be able to get to the feed spot. Let me ease in. See, I thought I was too close that time. I didn't get hit, but I backed out. There we go, back, there we go. Should be maybe one more, maybe two more bolas. Let's 
Let's see if he tries to run this time. No, he's still attacking. That's good. You want it to keep attacking because if it starts trying to run away and you have to go chasing it down, again, you're wasting those precious seconds and you're losing that taming percentage of progress. We're at 94.5. This should be the last bola we have to do. And he wanted to attack me for some reason right there. Ease in, ease in. And there we go. And I don't know if you noticed that just then, but I kind of glitched, the elephant kind of glitched and moved and moved me out a little bit to the left. So I want to I want to try to always get back to that one sweet spot where we're going in and out of feed prompt and bullet prompt. There we go. So there you go. That elephant is tamed. And somebody come and claim the other one, and we're going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to unclaim it and tell anybody if they want it to come and get it. We got to level up. The bear got to level up. And I've got my armor on. Good old plate armor getting rusty out in the rain. So I hope that helps you. Anybody out there that's looking to tame an elephant, to me right now, that is the best way to do it. Um, I suggest using two people if you've got two people. Doing it from the back of the bear is possible. But again, stuff around you, the environment, other animals can interfere with it. Using a pen, much easier, but you're going to run that risk of it glitching into the gate. You don't have to put the gate up. You can put uh, you can put more walls up and then just tear the walls down. But this gate here, uh, I've unlocked it for community use. You can see the, the gate's unlocked. Um, we don't want to go... Ah. I put up a tannery, a smithy, and I've unlocked it for anybody that wants to use it. And we put a sign up that says... Everything unlocked for community use. Um, that's just a nice thing to do because you can see there's a taming pen over there with a giraffe stuck in it. Um, there's, uh, where's it at? there's a taming pen over there with an elephant in it. There's one up through the woods there. And it just it clutters everything up. We're going to end the video there. And if you are in any way involved with watching my videos or on the channel, you know how we end the videos. That's right. We always like to end it with a dance. And again, I appreciate your support for the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. I know it's kind of a rambling mess, but I just wanted to do this wall, not as really like a tutorial. I just want to show you the whole process and what it takes and how aggravating or not aggravating it can be. But again, I appreciate all the support for the channel. We're growing. We're trying to get to 250 subscribers by the end of the year. So word of mouth, get it out there. Please come over subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these. We're going to be doing a giraffe next. Then we're going to go do a bull. And we're going to do some more taming videos. And then we're going to go out and start looking for resources where, you know, everything is where you can find this. Specifically, we're going to go on the island and walk to the resource and show you not just what island it's on, but where it's at on the island, which I see. A, that's the second biggest question besides how do you tame an elephant is where is such and such resource. Again, I hope this helps. If you got any questions, leave me some feedback down in the comments. But again, remember, game your way. And until next time, we'll see you out on the high seas.